Hey guys, Tarp here bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Eindhoven country, playing today spawning in the Northwest Stalker, playing as OKW, straight away going for Grand Offensive. Teaming up with him is Devilish, playing as Osir, who has Spearhead, Jaeger Infantry, and Fortified Armor. Look at that new icon for Hull Down and Recon Overflight. I suppose that one's the uh, one from Brits, right? Anyway, facing off in some in the south, we have Maverick as Brits. Straight away locking into Mobile Assault. And finally PS3, yes, also playing as Brits, who has Commandos, Special Weapons, and Mobile Assault. This one's uh, random both sides. Ranks Maverick around 280, PS3, yes, rank 9, Devilish rank 209. And Stalker rank mid 60s. So, yeah, a couple people slightly outside of rank range here, but you know, early on in the patch, sometimes these things happen. The flag. skirmishes over here. PS3 is not going to go for a universal carrier, going to go for 4th infantry section instead. Doesn't really want to fight a three on one if possible. Infantry squad trained and ready to go. Good turnaround damage there. Okay. <laughs> he really wants to get this little bit of damage in. Looks like we've got some uh, fusiliers coming in for Stalker now. So maybe that's the idea with behind the strategy. Try use the Kuwagan early to you know suffer them in your early game. Then go for a few more fusiliers. T tend to be a bit weak in the early game, stronger in late. But no, just going for one fusilier now into another Fox Grenadier. A bit strange. Fox Grenadier, ready for action. Usually if you're gonna get fusiliers, you get them last. At least you need the uh, snaring capability since they're a bit weaker in combat. Fox screen is generally. Okay, stem pose. A little bit slow coming around the corner there. Have to back out. Reasonable damage from the fuselier coming in from the side. A lot of squads quite low, but not dropping too many miles. That's the classic British tradition. Oh wow, look, that's got like two models in the sector, so they can. Uh, Need kits, which they do need at this stage. Here go the fusiliers. And here comes the first tech truck. Pushing back in. Stimpai is a little bit lagging behind. Kuwagan trying to come in for a bit of push action, but not terribly successful. Here go the retreats, but look at all that manpower left on the table. Easily could have been like <laughs> well over a hundred more manpower bled there. But those models just not dropping at all. The squad is back to ready for order. Popping the infantry awareness here. What's it called? Detection. Mine behind the sandbags. Nicely surprised for later on. We have a universal carrier out for Maverick. Close to V1, coming hunting. Maybe gonna find the Kuwagan. Quick disengage though. Good reactions from Stalker. Another shoe mine going down up there. Devilish going for a mortar now after three green is. A fair decision generally against Brits. Also have some medics out from Maverick. So maybe you're gonna free up some pyrotechnics on the rest of his Tommy squads. I generally feel, you know, still you know, you see me get mixed all the time as Brits. I think if you've got like three sections, you probably should just go for med kits. And then maybe once you've lost sections if you're transferring over to commandos or something else. 
the late game, maybe then you can get medics out. Because we've lost a couple of sections. Ooh, a lot of damage here. Almost Tommies again. Let's pop the bolster in there. Fighting strongly. Meanwhile, the Raketan busy trying to destroy the sandbags, but not connecting with any hits at the moment. They're all hidden the dirt. Just cannot land hit on those sandbags. Push through the center for Devlish. You see on the move here. Sandbags being used against the southern team there. T-Gun connecting with one hit on that Kubel. It looks like maybe they're going to try pressure the cutoff now. Pies briefly trying to push in but forced off. Here comes the section. Oh, devilish. No retreat on that grand here. And down it goes. One on the move now. No chasing me further though. Well, One engineer's out now for PS3, yes. Do you get those after the bolster? He might have done. Did also lock in to commandos. Deployed. Try to mine up there though. All right now, still no G43s on Stalker's Fusiliers. It's got plenty of munitions for the upgrade. You know, if you're going for Fusiliers, it should be one of your highest priorities, I'd say. Can understand trying to get a couple mines down first, but. Generally, I would try and get those G43s ASAP. Such a huge power spike from having them. And they do tend to match up pretty well against infantry sections as well. At least in uh, one on ones. Okay, Commander Glider's down, so not going to use that for some forward reinforcements. Just <laughs> can't kill those sandbags, <laughs> Oh. oh no, another squad down for Devlish. A little bit late on the retreat, having to rebuild one of those Grandiers now. Not having a very good game so far. No 2 2 2 either, which is very strange. You know, if you're up against the Universal Carrier, I would definitely recommend getting the 2 2 2. Especially on a map like this, we're maybe positioning an anti-tank gun to uh, hey, kill the Universal Carrier the might be a bit off. tricky. Some uh, Brens coming through for Maverick now. We're going to have the Bren Mandos. Filtration Commandos. The new manpower cheaper now, I believe. Good pack connection there. Let's also have the recovery sappers. Hasn't upgraded them with the uh, flamethrower or anything though. <laughs> but yeah, much different build to what I, you know I've been cooking up. Going for a couple sections with the bolster as well. You know, generally with my build, I'm trying to avoid getting bolsters, save those resources. Which will be helpful when and these guys come in. Full strength, five models. Looking forward to trying this one out again. That being said, I don't think I'm going to be using the um, mortar in this commander. I'm going to be sticking with the mortar pit or land mattress. Bit of a forward position coming in here for PS3, He's trying to inch his way in. Pretty well handled at the moment. 
Let's finally pop the uh, G43s on the Fusiliers. No STGs yet for the Fox, but he's a little bit low on munis now. And unfortunately, Mortar Pit triggering that mine back there. It's a new grenade out, but pretty easy dodge there. And the section's just out muscling him. Without the uh, weapon upgrades. Fox Street is really struggle. Commander's just find and quickly kill the Coob Wagon hiding behind the tree line back there. So Stalker having a bit of a tough go as PS3 just pushes forwards here. Oh, Scott's trying to try and push through centre as well with the commandos. Mine down over here. It's good once you've got your mortar pit down. I have plenty of mines to stop vehicles pushing in on it. Oh boy. MG just getting blasted out. Hopefully the flak base there to stop any further advances. But yeah, Stalker really struggling. Take a quick look at the KD. You can see... It's really, really bad for him at the moment. This three is always with like a blob. Stalker trying to play a bit more spread out, and it's just not working out for him. Still not quite stationary enough to really get blasted by the ISG either. CP3 just wants to push in on the truck here, and here we go, getting a bit of a push going. Got some commandos waiting on this cover over here as well. Truck and some troll. It does have the ISG there though. Pressure away the anti tank gun, and we got. Oh, sound like a second water pit. Not the case, though. Go down from the flak base onto the commandos. Truck's getting quite low here. Oh, so is the anti tank gun, however. Oh, accidentally gets a tiny bit too close to the flak base there, and that allows the Fusiliers to pounce, charging in, closing the distance, doing some pretty good damage. Might be worth switching over to the other squad, though. Oh, he's going after the AT gun. That's really necessary. I suppose he's getting somewhat close to bit one, though. But yeah, it can be tricky, you know, up against like a higher level player to land your ISG shots on them if they're just constantly moving around with their squads. Especially, you know, when they kind of reveal themselves in the fog of war through their targeting sometimes. You know, give away. Oh, bad positioning on that machine gun. Double brain Mandos, the option for Maverick. Around the time for a medium tank potentially. Devish does have his tier 3 down and gonna go for the flak panzer here. Very late though, you can see 85 or so fuel remaining, like when he's starting the flak panzer build. It's a risky call to make. Generally, I would not advise it. If you're getting a flak panzer, you know, like basically exact fuel timings, or you know, maybe even like 20 remaining. You know, with that early timing, you don't have to worry about your opponents having a medium tank to counter it. You can do some really good damage. Or maybe if you really need the anti air capabilities, it could be a reasonable choice. But I don't know if that's really the case here. Nothing for it to really shoot down, and you're very, very late on the timing. You could very easily just get dumpstered by a Cromwell, so. Not recommended with this kind of timing. But we'll see how it gets on anyway. At the moment it looks like both the Brit players maybe going to go for like Hammer or Anvil. Something like that. So maybe the double medium timing could be quite powerful here for the Axis. They do need to fight back a little bit. They've uh, lost a lot of territory control at the moment. After a bit of a bad start there with the Panzer IV taking a couple of hits. Just 
revealed. Oof, nasty damage. Made out. Oh, very late dodge. Nearly takes down the whole squad. A T gun repositioning. As if to be careful, pinned up against the trees. Oh, that was a close call. Mixed with the sandbag wall there. see that that was maybe going to happen being that close up to the trees tough time getting away there so you fire in the smoke barrage to try and cover that wow oh, excuse me Ready. Ready. Oh, ready. 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 briefly AT guns quite far back Still able to force away the machine gun though with the Tommies blasting away frontally. And meanwhile has to get out of harm's way. Do you go connect him from the side there? One kill so far, not a great start. Second anti tank gun coming in for devilish. Squads on the right hand side and now from the center. Yeah, it can be a pretty powerful, especially in these team game scenarios. It seems to be a lot more indirect fire, so a lot more creators caused. I think Commando's very, very powerful. Having uh, that camouflage option all the time. are repairing up the back. Diminished to rebuild two of the Grandiers so far. Four, put three kills. Not incredible. Flare up now from Stalker. Some uh, Tommy Squads camping it out over there. Got the heavy mortar barrage coming through. Target that it looks like. Devilish advancing through the centre. AT gun a little bit lagging behind though. Oh, no. So there's an opportunity to get the kill there, but unsuccessful. A little bit late bringing it forwards. Hands advancing. Oh, but that's a comet. Uh oh. Oh, Green is very, very low. They do get away, though. Close call. Double anti-tank guns here, but we do have that mortar pit facing around this way. And uh, gets out of there without taking any further damage with the Comet. So, yeah, the double medium timing for the Axis, not incredibly powerful, honestly. Didn't get a heck of a lot done. Now they're going to have to fight against these higher tech tanks such as the Comet. Pitched engagement going to be quite tricky. Especially because they're going to be relying on anti tank guns, which are then going to be very vulnerable to the mortar pit. It's going to be a, a tough one for the Axis. For the meanwhile, I wonder if they're both going to go for the Tiger or not. Stalker did end up going. The machine gun on his Panzer IV instead of the Panzer Commander. I generally think that's the uh, better way to go. Ooh! Oh no! Friendly fire from the Panzer IV. Ends up losing his own squad because of it. Ouch. Oh, that's, that's very unfortunate for Stalker there. You could kind of see what's going to happen though. Like that shot blocker there. He got a little bit exposed to the Panzer IV. Skirting around the side. Comet though. More speeding across. A bit of damage here. The kitten not too far away though. Comet going to try press the issue though. Charging forwards. Getting through. 
Rakitin not quite getting a shot off there, a little bit unfortunate. And now I've got the mortar cover coming down. That time the comet bouncing. Double Rakitin's facing up, Panzer IV missing. Rakitin's are just having no luck at the moment getting any shots off though. Comet continuing the chase because of that. Oh, missing again though, and now deciding it's maybe a little bit too risky. There were double inch tank guns we are losing a sector. from a devilish at one stage in the center. Maybe didn't want to test his luck, though they are now on the far side, I believe. So probably could have continued to chase there, honestly. But I think it's a good, good time to pull back. Maverick also going for the Comet. Looks like that took some damage. Had to pull back for some repairs. Has uh, repaired up yet again. Oh, devilish. No, not your grandeurs, mate. No, not again. Late retreats. Another wipe. Very uh, easy to avoid as well. Uh, STG's coming through on the Obers. Looks like the heavy mortar barrage might have range of the Schwer. And that's always an issue when you're up against commandos getting very, very close to the air supremacy now. So if this is a little bit damaged, that's basically a guaranteed kill with the air supremacy. That being said, you know, he did get a pretty good value out of having this truck forwards has allowed some stronger territory control, honestly. Keep missing its shot. We do have the section charging in. Maybe we're going to see some gammon bomb action. Smoking it out with the Comet, now advancing. This might not quite be enough. Okay, with the Comet shot, it will be, though. Hmm, unfortunate. Stalker with the instant rebuild on a truck. Might be King Tiger now. Tiger's not really on the agenda. Unfortunate for him as well. He's very, very close to the timing on that. So he's a tiny bit more fuel. It's not happening at the moment. Flat Panzer. I don't know what he's up to here. Coming through the center. Double Comets nearby. Got the double packs rotating though. His 3 might be biting off more than he can chew. Got the smoke out on one of the packs. A lot of bounces on the Comet here as well. But the Panzer IV... Maybe if he pinned that shot, he would have continued the chase, but did not. So that was a good time to disengage. You have to be able to like make those decisions, you know? Like, okay, if this shot connects, I'm going to go for it. If not, time to pull back. Oh, devilish. Dropping smoke and then driving forwards. Luckily for him, the attack round shot misses there. Wow. Oh, really good hit from the Panzer IV, and the Commandos go down. Calling in uh, the Royal Artillery. Air Supremacy now. Will the tech truck survive this, though? There's a little bit further off to the north. Be healthy still. Oh, about half its health has gone down here. Not super healthy. Doesn't have the flak gun yet either, so once again, very vulnerable to another gammon bomb. I think I probably wouldn't have bothered <laughs> trying to put this down again. I think I would have tried to go for the King Tiger. And now it looks like it's going to die yet again. Didn't get the Panzer authorization at least, so some save resources, but yeah, that was a bad play I think from Stalker trying to put that back onto the front lines playing against Commandos. I think once he even saw the Air Supremacy coming in, probably could have just cancelled it, cut his losses on the uh, cost of the tech truck itself. Good news for the Axis though, is the VPs are pretty much dead even, so in spite Having quite poor fuel control and getting pushed all the way back here. The VPs are pretty much bang on even. And now I've got engine damage on the Comet. It looks like he's going to fire off some phosphorus here. And force some attack ground action maybe from the Rakitans. 
Oh, we've got a bow force down. Another smoke. One more. Not quite enough. So that bounce did end up mattering. Just surviving there. Maybe if you got like one more snare off, that would have got the kill as well, but no. Ah, lucky break for PS3, yes. Fat Panzer still alive though. Wasting away the Bren Mandos from the far side. Opening up the capture. Bofors in the center as well. What's up with the Bofors production? Oh, Panzer IV going in. Wanting to kill the Comet, but he's bouncing and there's a mine there, so he doesn't get the kill. Oh, heartbreaking. That can happen though. That Comet 300 frontal armor. Pretty bad chance to pin it with the Panzer IV. Less than half. If you're in close range, so yeah, it's unfortunate. Gonna try to rebuild the tech truck this time in the base. Once I don't think I'd even bother putting it here. It's still good luck. Still get the uh, air supremacy right on your doorstep, and I think it's <laughs> still go down. <laughs> But it's a safer position at least. And now I've got a centaur coming in for the PS3. It's not cancelled quickly. It doesn't really need a you know, double bow force. The airstrikes are not going to be coming through anyway. On the Axis team. Oh, Grenadiers. Try and go for a rifle name before they exit. Very, very risky. Mattress coming in now for Maverick. Pretty close with pop cap limit once everything's reinforced, so that's pretty much what he's got here. And here comes the land mattress, looks like it's targeting the mortar team. Here, actually, a very good hit. Pack as well, no dodge from Devilish, and here he goes now. Looks like it's gonna get away though. Tiger dueling. It can be a, a bit of a tough matchup for the Tiger at, at the start before it uh, bets up. But once it gets the uh, range bonus of Vet 2, it should have an easier time against the Comet. That's not the case quite yet. Very, very low of the pack. Got to run through the Phosphorus with the Grandiers as well. Points are draining slowly. Repaired the bow forms back up. Took quite a lot of damage. Got some uh, fuselage with the Shrek. You don't see these super often. And picked up a third Raketten now, Stalker. Are you trying to dig in against that Comet? He's been having a hard time on his side of the map, though, without <laughs> just refusing to die. A good grenade there. Oh boy, in the mortar. Finishing off the job. And now we've got a Deeker on the 6-pounder here as well. On the Flak Panzer Grandia combo. Got a lot of pits there though. Ooh, big rifle nade forcing away the pits. And managing to kill the AT gun. Shrix 1 connecting. Torn point back. Fires off a Phosphorus on the exit though. Some base helps of fire coming in through the center for Maverick. X is holding on to the VP. Oh, Gammon Bomb. Oh, whoa. That looked like friendly fire from his own base howitzer. Ouch. And the kitten's going to work on the bow fours. That's, that's a lot of damage. Pops the brace now, but it's only going to make it last for a couple more seconds. It's just too much firepower. With the high damage reduction of brace. Is that a re... Oh no, it's another mortar pit, but slightly further forwards this time. Interesting. Phosphorus out on the land mattress. Not hitting too much, though. Can't 
getting aggressive. Okay, not quite bit one yet. No target weak point available. Gonna push forwards. Still looks like he's taking quite a lot of damage from the phosphorus. Off in the war speed now. Good teamwork there. Covering his retreat with the smoke, but it's not enough. And here we go. Comet goes down. PS3 is luck. Finally comes to an end there. Maybe a little bit of a turning point for the Axis. Got a worth out now for Devilish. Pretty close to his pop cap limits. Stalker finally uh, could build a tank again if he so he chooses. Maybe still wants to save for that Tiger though. Chasing away the officer on the far side. Do you really don't think I'd be building the officer unless you need the uh, recon plane for something? Oh, just charging the MG into the center there. Here comes the it. Grazing damage, not the best one to start things off there. One kill. Fresh glider on the far side for PS3S as well. <laughs> grenade sound came out way earlier than the grenade on that case. Enemy threatening a capture point. Just destroy the whole wall, but don't hit the squad at all. You have the enhanced sight on that squad, so they saw the tiger coming and decided to disengage. Which was a wise choice. Guys are hitting that mine that was back there. A little sweeper, but must have been slightly out of range. And whatever was trying to cap in the center is now dead. We're just going after the mortar again. Hit it with some phosphorus. What he really needs to hit with phosphorus is these triple raquettes. Yeah, Metris did receive a couple of buffs this patch, mainly to its mobility like pack up and tear down speed to its actual damage performance I believe pretty good volley on to the comet now it's having a tough time against those triple raquettes never went for any upgrades on the infantry sections so they're not spitting out super nasty damage with those brains just make them a little bit more vulnerable Oh, big shot from the Comet, wow! And a nasty volley from the section, down go the Obers, unlucky for Stalker there. Didn't have much time to react. Oh, the Comet! Going down on the far side. Double packs in the Tiger, oh boy, Maverick. Losing this Comet there as well. This Comet also, they're going down to the Triple Rakittens. Another whiff on the Werfer. Kill the trenches here, but under a bit of pressure yeah, from the section. The These trenches can be such a nuisance. Usually it's with the Shreks coming forward doing some damage, but they will leave them sounds a little bit exposed to the mortar pit now. Jump into the trench for a bit more staying power. Pretty good damage in spite of the brace. Wi-Fi connecting here. And the mortar pit does go down, so a couple cracks in the defenses here for PS3S. Yes. As he repairs up the comet. Maybe try and do a bit too much at once, trying to cap instead of defending the mortar pit up here. It looks like Stalker kind of transitioning into a lot of overs. Still has enough squads for snares though and handheld anti tanks, so shh. Should be alright in that department. There it is. The rifle nades. Another 
was having to cower around the corner. Okay, Tiger out now from Stalker. Let's see if this can turn things around for the Axis. I mean, the VPs are still very, very tight. They're not too far behind, honestly. They're getting some big kills as of late. It hasn't been getting <laughs> big kills, so it's a land mattress up to six. And the worth, I still think that's a one, right? it has been having a nightmare. Looks like he did fire off a recon plane, but it might not last long with that Bofors on the ground. Oh boy! Comet with the rear armor exposed. Do have some phosphorus coming down on the triple kittens, just like I was talking about this time. Is the tiger gonna push him for the kill? Got the Firefly named tank gun coming across, needs one more hit here. And he gets it on the move. Tiger backing away now. Can't quite get in range with the engineers for the snares. And the Firefly continue the chase, though. I think it needs two more hits to get the kill. Not going to get it. As it rounds the corner behind the trees. Tough chase. Their Firefly is not very fast. Squad provides some sight dies. Firefly rounding the corner. Oh, bounces. And the Tiger gets away. These trees may be getting a little bit cocky there. Exposing the rear armor on the Comet. He pays the price for it dearly. Looks like a Piet squad might have gone down over here in the meantime, and the emplacements getting destroyed. Now, if we take a look at the army size, we can see the Axis are quite firmly in the lead. Oh, down, good attack rounds through the building here. One more. Oh, lands a little bit short. The tips, though, from PS3, yes. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. Under attack. Okay, just inching its way forwards. Looks like a s switch over to a Firefly now for ps I, I still think he probably should go for the Comet first. He's got so many resources here. And then into the Firefly. So you kind of need that sturdy front line to help you against the infantry. To maybe soak up the Rakitten shots and shrug them off. Straight up Firefly. I don't think it's going to go terribly well for him since he nearly went for those infantry upgrades. This front line's a little bit weaker because of it. We've lost a squad of oh, I suppose he went for the bolts of it, not the brins. Do have uh, frag bombs ready for devilish. That could be quite nasty. going on. Now the Axis looking to set up the triple cap. Some more land mattress targeting here. Oh, pretty good hits. Wow, two wipes there. That was by far the best of the game so far. Oh, no, the Universal Carrier. Had a good life. A very long time, well done. Finally going down. Frag bombs! Ooh, no brace, but not quite a full on hit there. The Werfer strike coming in behind it though gets a very, very low late on the brace there. PS3, yes. Almost cost him his mortar pit. Now I've got the Shreks and the Tiger coming forwards. Trying to repair this up. Tiger takes some hits, but it's pretty healthy at the moment still. Lino's coming in after the Shrek squad. Tiger getting cold feet though. Oh, comes back in for the final blow. Just as the brace wears off. And now backing away. I was just out of range for a lot of that. Probably could have got two extra hits and maybe forced the Tiger away a little bit faster. All coming crumbling down for Brits at the moment. Uh oh. Tiger in some trouble, pops the smoke. Don't see any mines here. But he stops the chase. Relying on the Tulip Rockets, they both connect. Now the Comet going for the chase again. Needs to pin though. Bounce. 
Oh, miss. And the tiger gets away, pops the blitz. Makes it home safe. Briefly had an assault activated there. Oh, there goes the flak panzer through the center. Enemy causing trouble, trying to take one of our points. Tiger just chipping away from the angles. Remember this aura. Got a pretty good buff this patch. No longer has the uh, debuff, I believe. So it might be worth using. Seen it so far. No chill rockets on the Firefly here, so can't lock the Tiger in place. If that's done, and he's got the Comet now. Still plenty of resources for PS3. Yes, could squeeze in an extra unit or two here. Damage there, Shrek's coming in, pressuring away the Firefly. Try and charge forwards with Royal Engineers, act as a blocker. Stop any further damage. Alright, STG over, so that's some nasty damage up close. Yeah, but I wouldn't be trying this on with the Royal Engineers personally. Maybe if you're in cover with the Royal Engineers, they do get the uh, Vet 1 bonuses, which make them a lot more powerful in cover. In terms of uh, offensive damage. But yeah, Vet 2, the Royal Engineers, don't get any combat bonuses at all, so they're pretty damn weak. Big Vet received accuracy at Vet 3, though. It's definitely uh, a weak point of them. Their Vet 2 performance is quite poor. Especially when out of cover. The enemy have destroyed a forward position. Okay, Tiger could be in some trouble here. That's coming in from the side. Rebuild on the flak panzer as well from Devlish. Interesting choice. Not really sure why. Different packs sneaking in for a couple shots from the side. Oh no! So much damage from the Brens. Commandos close. We've got some base howitzer fire coming down. Firefly comes in for a cheeky shot. But this is just hammer, not anvil, so no air burst shells. The risk factor. Oh, down go the commandos. And once again, struggling for repairs. And now PS3 has finally burned through basically all of his manpower reserves as well. I'm not entirely sure what happened to them. He lost his anti tank gun as well, so really in some trouble all of a sudden. Wow, that's what he did, right? He went for another commando glider. So it's a pretty powerful army, but uh, hasn't been having a very fun time against these Rakittens. Just getting around the side of that one though, Tiger charging forwards. It's pretty good hits in, there we go, the Rakitten sniping off the Firefly long range. Command Tiger putting in some serious work here. And a, a very good performer so far for Stalker. Trying to target the uh, Rakittens, but they dodge out of the area before they take almost any damage. Okay, Tiger back up, ready for some more action. Heavy armor, ready to go. We've 100 points left. 
Some speed on the repairs there for the Comet. Looks like he managed to recapture the six pounder, which is good news. But the allies ticking under 100 VP, so they're in some trouble here. And now that the Tiger's vested up, this is where the Comets can struggle, especially the rebuilt Comets now. Losing out on some of their own vet bonuses. Get, you know, slight buff at vet 2 now. Looks like a 10% scatter bonus. Okay. Let's go on the Firefly. That's the worth it. A reasonable amount of damage onto the Comet, honestly. Oh, main gun crit as well. ISTG overs, all close call for those. Triple Red Kittens over here. We go over recon plane up for Devilish, but for how long with that bow force? Oh, there it goes. Ooh. Oh, well, that probably wouldn't have killed anything, right? After this patch. Even with a direct hit. On the ground. You see, he's still alive. Down one trick, though. Tiger charging in after the comet. More speeds away to safety. Ooh, nearly taking down that squad with the gam bomb. Just sneak that one in there. Tiger with the damaged engine. Doesn't have anything spotting for it, though, so Firefly. Might not have enough to finish the job here. The smoke plane coming in for Stalker as well as the Triple Rakitten's right there. That Firefly tries to push forwards at all. It's going to get vaporized. Now the drain back on the Allies. Yes, going for a centaur this time. Point. They're trying to take it. As I said, you know, while they've still got the both boys, I don't know if they need the extra anti air. The complaint didn't last that long. And they do kind of need the anti tank support up against these tigers. So I think that's really the right approach to take. Centaur here. Oh, that's a nasty bit of work by the commandos with the gamma bomb. Time to repair it up, ready for action. Ooh, there we go. That's a good worth a strike. Nearly getting the wipe. Oh, and the tiger does. Finishing the job up there. Three VPs left for the allies. Oh, that's a nasty volley. Triple Rakittens. Oh boy, and PS3 is just throwing his tank away there. Calling in the mortar cover, bringing in the land mattress. Rockets take a little bit too long to land. Kittens skate out of there safely. What can you do about that? Looks like he lost his commandos again as well. I suppose that's one thing you could do about that, right? Sneak around with your commandos on hold fire. Go for some cheeky grenades on them. Does require quite a lot of micro though. Seems to be trying to get something going on the far side. It's pretty good damage done as well. Tiger. A little bit clumsy with its movements there, having trouble getting any damage to connect. And they're going to clear out these commandos in the center quite quickly. And smoke 
the way to safety itself. We're never gonna call the GG here. Stalker with the bad manners. Hmm. All right, well, dominating position there for the double Brit team. You know, PS3S getting themselves into a very strong position. But, you know, in spite of that strong position, their VP control wasn't that good. Didn't drain that many points off the axis, even though they were down in the dumps. You know, the VPs were pretty much bang even at 300 apiece at one stage. And then PS3S kind of just losing, uh, like, unit after unit, inch by inch. Maybe a little bit under strength with his repairs on the Royal Engineers. Maybe could have gone for like a third one of those. It felt like he had quite a lot of downtime with his tanks on the repairs. And then, yeah, maybe some slightly questionable build decisions. He had quite a lot of uh, resources floating as well, even while they're under a bit of pressure. Could have pushed out one extra unit to maybe try to assist. But yeah, good work from the uh, Axis grinding their way back in. The triple rockets for Stalker just slaying tank after tank. And they just didn't have the answer, especially once that mortar pit went down. Land mattress is just a little bit too clumsy to go for those kind of strikes just to, uh, to try and annihilate team weapons. Just, you know, the rockets come through a little bit slowly. Don't do that much damage, especially before it vets up and... Uh, that can be trouble against a support weapon spam like that, but GG, good turn around here by the Axis. Anyway, guys, I'll wrap on that. If you like a game to be cast by me, details in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.